Hello, let me bring forward a uh, news. AWS Solution Architect Professional is going to expire. You must have seen my previous videos on where Solution Architect Associate was expiring and it expired end of August. Let us try to understand more details around this. Please hit subscribe and the like button. It takes a lot of effort to put in these contents. So please, please, please subscribe. Now the new version would be out from 15th of November this year. So can I keep continuing appearing for this exam till that point in time or will there be a beta exam launch? Let us understand that. So the last date to take this exam, the current version exam is November 14th. So when can you start booking this exam from October 18th? You can start registering for this exam and book your slots. You cannot do it now. Now means 12th of September and the first day to take the latest exam is November 15th. So what will be the exam format? It would have 75 questions. It will be of 180 minutes duration. That is approximately three hours and it will cost $300. Very expensive. But is this exam worth it? Is it worth it? The advanced level exams are the only exams are the only exams that will give you respect in your organization. If you think cloud practitioner is going to give you respect, no man. Solution architect associate will give you some respect. But if you want to command that respect, you will have to go for advanced and specialty certifications. So this is one of them. So what is going to be covered? It will be very heavily dependent upon the well architect framework. You will have to understand this framework very clearly because a lot of questions are based on that. There will be four particular areas. Design of organizational complexity. So organization complexity means that for example you have a large organization just like bank of america so a large organization has a range a range of applications and services that is being used as a solution architect professional you will have to be very clear about various concepts you should have tried and tested certain kind of features so that you can manage that organization complexity and that is what this certification is designed for to test your skills around this the other thing is design for new solutions. What do you mean by new solutions? For example, typically in a web uh, development world, earlier they used to do a two tier deployment and then happened the three tier. Now it is microservices based. So what happens here is there is a lot of innovation happening. Why are we doing innovation? So that the same application can support uh, millions of customers so that there is a potential for scale up and scale down. You should be able to continuously improve the existing solutions. The existing solutions may not be truly relevant in today's time. So you may have to think about upgrade, patch or replacing that feature with a new feature of AWS and so on. And accelerate workload migration and modernization. So modernization is very important because you want to take the old applications and modernize it to suit the current needs. For example, taking your web applications and putting it on a microservices based architecture is one of the way of modernizing that application. Similarly, taking a typical data warehouse and putting it on a data lake platform so that now you can not only analyze the structured data, but you can also do a semi structured and unstructured data analysis. So this is the percentage coverage for each and every topic. This is very important where you want to focus. You want to focus a lot on this one that is designing for new solutions. Now let us look at various services that this certification will cover. You know, there is a full plethora of services. You will get tired and you will get surprised that there are so many services being covered as a part of this certification exam. And hence, if you're able to clear this, there is a different level of respect in the organization that you will command. So if you see here around analytics, these are the range of services around application integration. These are the range of services. So for example, if you are required so this piece, this piece is all about, you know, real time notifications, real time data integration and so on. That's why you see MQ and then orchestration functions like step function around analytics. You see Athena, you can see EMR, which is for your big data processing. You see glue, which is your ETL. And then these are all real time data integration services. Lake formation is to create data lake and quick site is your BI reporting tool. Then around the business applications, you need to know something about Alexa. You need to know about SES, which is the simple email service. You need to know a bit about blockchain as well, it, though it will not go very deep, but you need to know about it. You need to understand the cloud financial management. This is the key in any organization because it is all about saving the costs. So this topic would give you coverage around how to fix a budget, how to monitor the usage and the cost of the services that is being used and how to utilize the savings plan properly. 
then comes the compute services these are the set of compute services ec2 and ec2 auto scaling is the base everybody knows that for other certifications also it is covered lambda is definitely a serverless kind of compute then there are some new additional features like light sail outpost wavelength and so on and i am posting each and every video one video each for each of these topics if you have seen my previous topics or previous videos around solution architect associate where i am trying to cover each of these services so that you get a clear understanding please go through those videos then we cover containers which which will be majorly around kubernetes deployment and container deployments you need to understand the databases range of databases like redshift for your high performance data, database data warehouse and neptune for your relational databases uh, when i talk relational that means relationship wherever you have to use a recommendation system like amazon does if you buy one product it gives you a range of other products that you, other people would have bought so that is a recommendation and that comes from neptune then you have dynamo db elastic cache aurora serverless you need to know about all of these then there are developer tools this is something which you don't have to go into depth but these are your some uh, tools which you use for devops for example code deployment code commit uh, code build these are just like your github repository but inside aws now from a front end web development perspective or mobile application dev, uh, perspective you have these set of applications pinpoint device form and etc we will go into depth of each and every topic later on then you have something for your internet of things if you have iot sensors deployed on across various infrastructure if you want to monitor such things then you have iot services you have analytics which is performed on the iot stuff you have defender which will help you with you know making your systems more secure and so on then you have a range of machine learning services you do not have to go into depth of each and every service because that will be in scope for the machine learning certification but you need to know what is kendra what is forecast what is poly and so on then you have a range of management and governance services which is important here because for example your infrastructure who is making changes to your infrastructure who made it you can do it through config you can watch the activities through cloudwatch and visit the cloudwatch logs and you can use infrastructure as a service for example you have one set of configuration a range of infrastructure that has been to be deployed from development to production you can build that you can build it infrastructure as a code and just do a creation of the infrastructure on the fly you can totally eliminate the manual effort there then you have services new services like proton which is important for you to understand then the well architected tool trusted advisor these are something which is old and you uh, must be already knowing these services then we have migration and transfer services what is this if you want to move your data from on premises to cloud or one cloud to the other cloud these are the services which is very useful you need to know about dms data sync and so on then you have networking and content related you don't have to go in depth here but you need to know what is a transit gateway what is a global accelerator and so on in this professional certification you will be quizzed a lot around this topic and then we have security which is very important ultimately very important and we have a strong coverage in the associate exams the solution architect associate so here we are talking about macy using kms for encryption encryption at rest encryption at transit temporary uh, access to certain systems waf uh, using the wire uh, using the uh, firewall and then you need to know a lot about storage what are the different type of storage s3 glacier storage gateway ebs and so on and then how does backups work okay now it is important to understand what is out of scope for this exam out of scope is amazon game lift this is not something which you will be working on 12 factor app methodology in depth knowledge of operating systems you do not need to know operating systems in depth so these are savers for you so relatively the exam is relatively tough compared to solution architect associate but it is not something which is humanly not possible so the new version of this exam will be out from 15th of november you can book or register for the exam 18th october onwards so if you are already preparing for this exam we make sure that you appear for your certification before 15th november or plan it after 15th november do not forget to hit the subscribe and the like button see you in the next video